Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. It was a question in an admission test for the University of Oxford, so let's see if we can solve it. A square has center 3, 4 and one corner at 1, 5. Another corner is at A, B, C, D or E. So this is about a square. We get the center of the square and the coordinates of one of the corners of the square. And we have to find the coordinates of another corner of the square. So let's take a look at a coordinate system and let's take a look at these points we are given here. So the center is at 3, 4. So the x coordinate is 3 on the x axis 3 and the y coordinate is 4. So here is the center of our square. I call this point M. Then we get a corner at 1, 5, so the, the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate 5, so this is a corner of our square. I call this point A. If we take a look at a square to see what we're looking for, we have the corner A, B, C, and D, and here in the middle is our center M. We have the coordinates of point A and point M. And with these coordinates we want to find the coordinates of B maybe or of C or of D. Let's start with the coordinates of C because it's the easiest to find. Um, we have A and M. Okay, if we connect A and C now we get this diagonal through the square. And M, the center of our square, lies on this diagonal. So to get from A to C, we can first go from A to M, to the middle of the square, and then from M to C. So if we connect A and M and create a vector from A to M, let's call this vector V, then we can use this vector to go from M to C as well and find the coordinates for C. But first of all, let's find the coordinates of our vector V. That is the vector that goes from A to M. And because the points here are so simple, we can just walk here to find the coordinates. So the x coordinate would be we try to get from A to M on the x axis it would be we walk here first. So it's two steps on the x axis. So the x coordinate is two. And then the y coordinate is from here. We just go one down. So the y coordinate is negative one. This vector tells us how we get from A to M. It says go two steps in the x direction, so one, two, and then go one down and you end up in m. Um, by the way, if your coordinates here would be more complicated than these because these lie on this grid and we could just walk, but imagine you, your coordinates are more complicated, then you could also calculate this vector. So to get from A to M, this would be this vector A, M, you can always take M first and then subtract A from M and calculate this with these two vectors, then you also get this one. But because everything was so easy here with the coordinates, we didn't need to go this way. Okay, then we have V. How does it help us now to get the coordinates of our corner C? Well, we went from A to M and now we want to go from M to C. And we can take the same vector V because it points in the same direction where we want to go. We want to just want to keep going here. And we see, need the same length again because this was the center of the square. And to get to the corner, we can just use V again. So from M, we would take V again here to get to our point C. 
And if it's not that easy to see in the picture where the coordinates here are for the point C, we can also calculate C. So we get C by starting in M. So M is our starting point. And then we just add our vector V to M so that we end up in C. Uh, let's do this with the coordinates. M was my center at 3, 4. Then we add the vector v, which had the coordinates 2 and negative 1. If we add these two, we get a result of 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 4 plus negative 1, so 4 minus 1 equals 3. 5, 3, yes, these are the coordinates we can see in this picture here as well, so everything is good. We found a corner. 5, 3, and we go back to our answers and check if 5, 3 is one of them. Of course not. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that this is wrong. It just means they were not looking for a C. Of course not, because it was the easiest corner to find. So they were not looking for C here. Maybe D, maybe B. Let's try and find D first. We still have this vector v here, but v was the vector from a to m. And if we use v now again, then we will end up in c here, right? So we can't use v again. We want to go from m to d into this direction. And I call this vector u. What's the connection now between v and u? Well, both of these vectors are part of the diagonals of this square. And diagonals in a square are perpendicular to each other. So these two vectors have to be perpendicular to each other. So our vector u has to be perpendicular to this vector here. How can we find the coordinates then? Because we only have two coordinates, it's pretty simple. You just switch these two. So you take the negative one here as the x coordinate and the two as the y coordinate. But that's not all we have to do. We have to change the sign from one of the numbers. So either we change the sign of this number, so we make the negative one positive, and then we have a vector that is automatically perpendicular to the, this one. Or if you say, oh no, I like negative numbers. I change the sign of this positive number and make this negative. I prefer that. You can do that as well. Um, and this vector would also be perpendicular to this one. But I prefer positive numbers, so I make the negative one positive. Um, you can al always uh, check if these vectors are perpendicular to each other if you create the dot product of these two vectors, and that has to be zero. Um, okay, but this is the case here, and now we have our u. So from the center of our square, we would use u to have our perpendicular vector here and to get to the point D then. How are the coordinates of our vector D? Well, we would start at the center at M and add U this time to end up in D. The coordinates from our center point were 3, 4. The coordinates of u are 1 and 2, and if we add these now, 3 plus 1 equals 4, 4 plus 2 equals 6, 4, 6 are the coordinates of d. Yes, looks good on our picture here as well. So let's check if 4 and 6 is part... No, it's not. <laughs> of course not. It's the last corner. It's not C. It's not D. They were looking for B. So how can we find the coordinates of our point B then? We can start at the center, at M, but if we add U, we would end up in D. But we want to go into the opposite direction to end up in B. So instead of adding U, we just subtract U 
because this gives us the exact opposite direction, the same length, but the opposite direction. And that's what we want here. So we don't add u, but we subtract u. What do we get then? Our center was at 3, 4. We subtract u, which is 1, 2. And if we calculate this, 3 minus 1 equals 2 and 4 minus 2 equals 2. And now let's just pray that 2, 2 is somewhere. Yes, it is. So we solve this problem. I'm curious how you solve this problem. So please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.